I love how official we are here. It's so good. Let's do this. Coffee and bourbon. Which better way to start the morning? Well, better way. <laughs> hey, y'all. Nick from Huckberry here. I'm on the Flint and Tinder design team. We're here today to talk about how to care and rewax your flannel line wax trucker jacket. So for those who don't know, this is our flannel lined wax trucker jacket. It is an iconic take on the classic trucker jacket silhouette. It is made in the United States. It is fully lined in a cozy blanket lining and it is made from a durable wax canvas material. Wax canvas originally came around in about the 15th century. It was used for sails on ships and then was later turned into slickers for fishermen. It's also kind of considered the original performance fabric. It's water resistant, it's hard wearing. I love wax canvas because it's like a pair of jeans, right? It ages, it, it gets better with wear, it kind of tells your story. So a great design philosophy that we have here at Flint and Tinder is really making things that will last you a lifetime. With all great products that are gonna last you a lifetime, there is going to need to be some care and just upkeep. The great thing about a waxed trucker jacket is it's pretty easy and straightforward to take care of. So before we get into the rewaxing, we're gonna talk about a little bit of how to care for your flannel line wax trucker jacket. First and foremost, you never want to put this thing in the washing machine and you never, ever, ever want to put it in the dryer. If you try to return it to us after you put it in the dryer, we will not take it. That is no good. You will literally melt all of the wax off. Please spot clean only. If it gets really muddy, a little bit of water to dust off, but really what I recommend, let it dry, take a brush, use your hand, get that mud dirt off. And yeah, like I said, never ever put it in the washing machine. Flash on screen. Warning, warning, warning. Skulls, crossbones. <laughs> Today we are here with our co-founder, Richard's flannel line wax trucker jacket. He has had this jacket for years and years. You've probably seen him in photographs wearing it. He's put a nice patina on it and now it's in need of a rewax. So we're gonna do that today. A common question we get asked here at Huckberry is how you know when it's time to rewax your jacket. There's gonna be certain areas that take more abuse than, than others. So typically back of the elbow, back of the shoulders, and kind of some of this front panel area that just gets a lot of wear, rub. That's where the, the wax is really gonna come off first. And the best way that I recommend to people is really just kind of feeling the fabric. You can really tell when that wax has come off and you are really just touching the base canvas of the material. Most people don't need to fully re-wax their jacket. Recommend just kind of spot treating the areas that need it, but also feel free to rewax the entire jacket. Just make sure that you pull up a good movie, good podcast, because it is gonna take you a little bit of time. First, we need to gather our materials, what we're gonna need. We are going to need a good wax, otter wax, highly recommend, made in the United States, some brushes, soft bristle. Otter wax makes some great brushes. Just need kind of like a soft bristle brush, and then a hot air gun, or if you have a, a blow dryer laying around, that will also work. So first we want to make sure before we're re-waxing that there's no kind of dirt, grime anywhere. You know, if you have any dirt or grime kind of more in the seams of your jacket, that's where this tool comes in really great to just get under some of those edges and seams and just really make sure there is no dirt or grime. It's time to get into waxing. This can get a little bit messy, so definitely recommend putting down a drop cloth if you have something around. This is a fabric specific wax. Do not use mink oil, boot wax, any other type of wax. Make sure it is a fabric specific wax. We really love these bars from Otter Wax because it makes applying really, really easy and straightforward. So today we're just going to kind of do some spot treatment on Richard's jacket. His front panels definitely have had some wear, some rubbing, so that's what we're going to address here today. There is multiple ways to go about this, but I have rewaxed countless jackets, so I'm gonna just give you my own personal take on this. Some people like to go in streaks. I find if you're not super thorough, it can lead to kind of streaks on your jacket. So I like to go in little circles and kind of expand out from there. 
just giving a really thorough coat on the area. And really the, the friction of rubbing the bar on the fabric is really kind of heating up that wax and really transferring it to the fabric. You can definitely see some of that glossy wax showing you kind of the pocket, which can be a little bit tricky. It can use some of the edges of the bar to kind of get on those seams a little bit. You're looking for an even coat. Again, how I kind of like denote that is that shine glossiness. The, the heavier the coat, the glossier and thicker it's gonna be. The lighter the coat, the less gloss. Again, we're just trying to go for that kind of even look. Get under the pocket flap on top, make sure that those seams are getting wax. We talk about functionality, seams, you know, joining seams, that's where water likes to leak through. If you go heavier on any kind of specific areas, definitely recommend going heavier on those kind of like the joining seams, like the side seam here, using that edge of the bar to kind of really try to get under. You don't need to re-wax really the inside of the waistband or the inside of the cuffs. Those are more against skin areas. All right, so now we're at a point where you're, hopefully y'all can really see the difference of the wax panel and an area that is kind of lacking some of its wax. This isn't about making your jacket look different. It's about the care and upkeep and really the functionality of the fabric. So it's really gonna look like the rest of your jacket. We're just kind of re-weatherproofing it. The big thing that you're gonna notice is, you know, the water repellency. This will get a little bit less drastic as we hit it with the heat gun. It's gonna look like the rest of the jacket. It's not gonna be obviously like, oh, this area was re-waxed and these others weren't. Just make sure you feel good that, you know, it's got a nice even coat. That's, that's the biggest thing that I, I wanna stress is before you hit it with the heat gun, just overall visually that it's, it's nice and even. You can't really mess this up, right? You can go too heavy, but as we use the heat gun and let this sit, any of that excess wax that does not absorb into the fabric will definitely come back up. And you just kind of hit that off with one of, you know, your brush, or you can take a piece of fabric and it really just like wipes off. Part of this is getting a little dirty. So don't be afraid to like use your hands and kind of like get some of that wax just like worked into some of those corners and raised seams. We feel like we got a pretty good even coat on this front panel and now we're gonna go into using the heat gun we have here. It's really gonna be the best way to set and cure your wax into your jacket. So definitely, definitely don't put it in the oven. <laughs> this heat gun specifically has two different settings. We don't want to bake it. We don't wanna like put it on super high heat and burn the wax. So for this particular heat gun, I'm gonna use it on the low setting. Let that heat up a little bit. I start about six, eight inches away from the fabric and like we applied the wax, similar with the heat gun, we're just gonna wanna work it in circular motions. And I don't know if, if we can pick it up on the camera, but you can really start to see that wax kind of setting into the fabric. How do I know that my, my wax is setting into my jacket properly? It's gonna change colors back to kind of where it started. Just the difference is you're gonna have that waxy feeling back on those areas of high wear. You know, it can be a time consuming process, but for me, again, those, those lifetime items that take some care and some love, it's almost a meditative process. And that's feeling pretty good. We have, you know, really set that wax into the fabric with the heat gun. A thing to keep in mind is after you wax any garment is, even though we've heat set it, letting it cure. For me, I really don't, you know, wear a jacket for about 24 hours after re-waxing it. Just like really letting the wax set into the fabric and that color difference will, will fade as it cures. For 24 hours, you can do it overnight. You do wanna make sure you hang up the jacket. However, do not, put this in your closet. I would put it in an area that is well ventilated, has air circulation. If you put it in your closet with everything else in there, it's not really gonna get that kind of air movement 
that it needs to really set and cure into the fabric. Like I said earlier, you can't mess this up. So if you over waxed your jacket, that white wax is gonna come to the surface. Even here now, you can kind of see some of these areas along the seams where like the white film is kind of coming back up. That's just areas that maybe were slightly over waxed. No problem whatsoever. You can take a rag and kind of wipe it off. You can also take your brush and just kind of work it in some of those areas to just kind of get off that excess wax. Doesn't hurt if you have the time, just pull that heat gun or hair dryer back out and just like remove that excess wax and then anything that kind of transitioned in removing it, reset that in and then you should be good to go. Thanks for joining me today on talking a little bit about the care and how to re-wax your flannel line wax trucker jacket. If you guys have any questions, comments, please drop it below, reach out to our CX team, and we're here to help you however we can. Now you're ready to, to get back out there and beat up your jacket. Until next time, we'll see you out there. <laughs>